So, hi everybody, and welcome back. Um, this is again <laughs> on Unreal Engine 5 overview for beginners. We are on video number 24, and normally I wanted to go on with um, animations, and so talk this, but I just found out that I have skipped a very, very important topic, which is collision. I talked already about collisions, I think, a little bit, but we have to talk about this one more time because it is very important for programmers in Unreal Engine and for designers. So let me talk, not too much, but I let me give you an overview about some important things. First of all, let's open up our content drawer. Let's talk it. So here, because we are working now with the file system a little bit. The first thing, what I'm going to do, I will explain you collision a little bit. To, but to explain it very easy, I demonstrate you something. We go to static mesh and we pick up something what you probably already know. This one I used already, I think. It was our stone. And yes, when I, I can click this away now. I think that's worth it, yeah. And when I start playing now, here is my character. We made our menu here, which I can, let's keep it just. Oh, should we keep it? Yeah, for this explanation, I keep it later. We can get rid of it, but let's go on. So we have here our stone and when I go, oh, we have a problem, right? We can walk through this stone. And the reason for this is it has no collision. So in our real world, we expect that a stone is solid. And when I come with my character that I uh, that I should be blocked, right? But in Unreal Engine and in general programming in all other uh, <laughs> game engines too and so on, this is not the case because this what you see right now here is just a visual representation of a rock. But the blocking system um, in the engine uh, works not like the blocking system in our real world, which means if you want block something, you must add to this component a collision, right? And the good thing is the static meshes, which I showed you here, it was here in our content drawer, static mesh, they got normally already a collision, but in our case, we can see this one got no collision. So uh, why? We have to ask why it has no collision. And we can check this. How we check this? We go to details. I select first the static mesh. And then you can either uh, type here collision to jump directly to the collision section. Um, then you can see what is there. Of course, you can just scroll down to and this was also one very important section which I missed. I think I said in details panel, there are not many important parts. The, the one important part was transform. The second was perhaps the static mesh or where we assign the objects. Uh, here it's a static mesh. Perhaps we assign a sound in another place or texture material or something like that. This is the second important place. This one <laughs> physics also perhaps not so important at start. You set this one time and then you have it. And then the next important place is probably this collision which we are going to talk here. And the good thing is um, we don't need set anything here really. We have just to check what this is later, collision preset and generate overlap events eventually because this overlap events will be um, like it said, we, when we overlap with our collision, 
then it should trigger a function and then we can do something with that but this one is not important right now right now important is how i'm i am activating this collision right we expect from our rock it is solid and right now i can walk through it so to do so i go actually not here in details panel i even go to the static mesh i uh, let me show you what i do here before i click it <laughs> so i use again uh, where is it I select this uh, rock I go to the static mesh should be on top and I go I use all time this browse to asset it's very convenient it's absolute perfect and then here I'm in my static mesh the rock which I uh, placed here in my scene I double click on it and now we are talking about the static mesh mm uh yes the static mesh um, editor here a little bit so first of all on the right side we see our standard details panel there we can set all here on top materials important perhaps all other we can again forget that's nice to know because and here is something interesting collision perhaps and then we can forget all other things again only if you really need it depends on your uh, needs uh, and one more info when i say you can forget i mean they could be very important but in general what you are interested in is at start this probably and then probably for the search word why we are here and in this case we are here just for the collision then you don't need to read all other things but in general later when you go a little bit more at once and so on then you read all this one time through and check uh, you learn it not really you just check what you really need and later you will find it with this search bar for example if you follow up tutorial then it will point out go to the this place then you type in this it jumps here if you really need something that said let's concentrate in our collision here is a socket manager let's forget this from start because this is not really important right now uh, because the socket manager is normally what i think it's more important for a character and something like that but perhaps you can use it also here anyway how so let's go on here on top we have our standard safe browse um, re-import base mesh this is just imp if you imported this mesh from outside for example uh, 3d modeling uh, yes 3d modeling program you saved it on your hard drive you can re-import something like that and here we have a setting collision and this one is important we will talk here but interesting here one note we have on top also collision i use this one this one is now the new shortcut probably uh, but here on top we have it the same these two things are only interesting for us here here we have some informations and what is that uv um i don't know okay this is the uv's channel uh we have not talked about uv at all here but this one is later important for designers they know what a uv is it's just um uh, let's say it is a olded over uh um yeah uh, or oh, um, the face over the uh, what it's called i don't know you know this one what you see here is the skin of this uh stone for example uh on a plane like you can see this is one side and this is probably the other side or something like that but we talk not right now about uvs because this one you need for in a designer section we are here just on our overview section so we skip this also we go to none here because we don't need it right now we are interested in collision so right now this one has no collision and how we can see that we go here on the right side i select this one 
uh, it's already selected i go down to collision and i see nothing but i'm not sure if this one is this <laughs> because this is a little bit new i made it in unreal engine 4 a little bit more easy than this one i never looked at here uh, here at all that's interesting <laughs> what i did was i show you a very easy and simple thing you go here and then uh, you can go here to auto convex collision which means i create a collision for this one or you say I use a very base shape collision, which is not all time good, but sometimes you don't need this uh, collision system here because this one has more, uh, probably more <laughs> complex collisions. Let me show you what I mean with that. Let's see. I add this add box simplified collision. This was most time used. So, And what you can see right now here is I don't know if you can see that because it's uh, so there is a green box now and this green box is actually our collision box that means now when my character walks here it don't care about the stone but it will care about this box and when I s and uh, uh, because the collision box here will react to my character the problem you can see here is this collision box what we added is not accurate i mean with that it should be on the uh, on the surface right of the stone and not right this box so you can see there are different kind of collisions sometimes you need for example a very good collision then uh, which covers really the surface sometimes you don't need that and then you can use this kind of a simple collisions depends on your needs so we go again on top to collision and now i have here a collision the thing what you have to do is just go here to this option which means remove collision and then i click again on collision and this time i go to this option auto convex collision and here on the right side there comes a little new editor here you can see it and it says something like hull count max other words and so on and i just keep now for this demonstration the default ones this one you can change test it and uh, read through later i make apply and what you see right now is this collision we have again red, uh, green lines but this time a little bit more on the surface of the stone which means the collision would only react when i really come close to this surface instead before we had something a box the collision would react already even if i'm not on the stone i would be blocked and yeah and this method actually is all what you need at start and then you go for a save and this stone has a collision but careful there is one more step we need to do this one is just adding a collision but the collision asks you what you want yes or what does what does this mean what you want because collision can collide with many many things for example not only with our character for other with i don't know with <laughs> other stones or birds or whatever comes through a shot or particle system or fire or something like that right that's why the collision asking you what you want when i come with a character for example and that means we have set this and when i let me show you something let's save all here uh see a save here yeah save all when i press for example play now and i walk i'm blocked indeed but this one is only <laughs> the reason why i'm blocked here is because there was a default setting which means block for example all dynamics or all thing block all for example block all means for a collision anything what comes near me block it this is uh, for example the result what you want sometimes 
but not all time. Let me show you this a little bit more in detail. And here comes a second note, very important second note. And the second note is, but let's go first to the collision and then I show you the second very important note here. The first, so I said the collision ask you what you want, right? There I stopped with my talking and here in details we go again to collision and you can see there are one option here. It is called collision preset and this option is very important. This is probably the only option which you are really interested in later because it, it this place here when i open this up we can't select it now okay <laughs> but here it is saying um yes what kind of collision you want for example here on top collision preset i have here default options uh, these are default options means you can add even your own collision system here later I show you where but right now uh, right now we have this default options and one of these default options is for example block all and block all means it will block all what uh, with what it is colliding so for example I showed you here and walk through it's colliding now with my character now i can't walk anymore uh, through it that is the intended uh, situation what we really want normally and then we have of course other presets too for example sometimes you don't want collision for example in this case we want but sometimes there are cases uh, for other situations you don't want collisions or you want Spe uh, only special cases for example block only your character it's called for example pawn here or yeah whatever core out of things like overlap only dynamics for example and so and this preset you watch then later in a collision tutorial i would say uh, but actually that what I showed you when you read this through, this will be the really important place and all other things build up on that one. So this we have, but there was one thing, what I want, even two things, but the one thing which is also very important. When I pressed here play, so this stone has a collision, but careful, not only the stone has a collision, the character itself as a collision too so the question is now where we set is let me open the character here i go to my world settings because i don't search it here in my content browser it takes too long that's why i go to my world settings you know my game mode section here and i go here to default browse to asset and here's my default character double click on it and then have i clicked it yeah it pops up this one if it's not docked you can dock it here on top and then we go to the viewport this is the coding section we uh, we are most time interested at start here on the free this one actually you can click or keep but just remember the most time we use event graph and the viewport and then you go to the viewport and here is something very important i said the character has also collision and here later you have to check um, if the collision preset is okay for example when i go to the capsule comp uh, component which uh, which is a collision uh, cylinder like it says here on the tool, uh, tooltip it's it's already this um, yellow uh yes <laughs> capsule it's already a collision system and then it has here some sets then you would go to collision because you are working with collision let's go to collision if i find it here collision and here you can see the preset it's pawn pawn means here character also a uh, pawn is the parent class actually uh parent class is character ah okay whatever this is not 
I think it's not true. First comes pawn and then comes character. But here we have a subclass probably of character and character is a subclass of pawn. That's not very important what I said now. This is more a programming thing. Anyway, so here we have a collision preset and here you have to set this accordingly too. For example, here is set to pawn and the other things you should check too if they have collision sometimes you want only one thing to have a collision not all other things meshed we have here a mesh too this time it's the skin and we go down to collision and this one here it says collision preset character mesh normally you don't want to have two collisions only if you have a special meaning in my case, I would set this normally to no collision because I have already this collision. This is my collision, which I want to use, for example, or later I don't use that or I use that. But careful about this one, because sometimes it makes problem when we generate overlap events, which I am going to talk so, uh, soon here. And if you have two collisions, then it will be triggered few times and beginners have sometimes problem to figure out at least i had this problem too to figure out why and then i saw oh i have collision one time a collision here then a second collision here and this two collision triggered for example uh this event which i wanted only triggered only one time and so on then you check also the camera if this has any collision preset or something like that this one has nothing the best way to check this is all the time you go on top right call and then click here through and it jumps to the collision section for example let me show you what i mean call and then you can see collision and then you can check this very fast call here ah careful this is color let's write uh, one more l collision okay then you can check this here we are in clothing no, collision and then you check this one most uh, things are not important what there is one more option which is important this will be this generate overlap events but this one the mesh i wanted have no collision so i don't need that here is nothing here uh, what is this this is my capsule component this is very important here i set my collision here i have this generate overlap events that is very important and why um like let, let me explain this one too why is this generate overlap events on collision very important i said uh, before the collision is we have added a collision for example here on our block two and let's go here here on collision mm -hmm. Had this generate overlap events? No. Ah, not so important because this is a static mesh. We can't make this here. We have to add this probably to our blueprint to generate overlap events and then the coding. Okay, let's do it here. The point is, um, this must be clicked when you want to use an. Uh, when you want that this collision is triggering an event so it's not just blocking but also uh, when you want code right something let me show you something uh, let's say um, can i show you this here with the character i showed you this i think that was already i showed you that with a box collision but this was a other functionality okay let's make this way so this one is done i think it's not more important the only thing was important was here just this generate overlap events only this one and this preset and all other things you can forget because you set this read this one time through set this one time and only come back when you really need it for example the shape height and will set it but in real thing in re <laughs> i mean when you are real programming you just go most time here first here check this and then you jump down to this on component begin overlap because you are going to program with this overlap here let me program this here so here is our event and this event here is connected to this 
generate overlap events and this one is connected to this collision so this one when this one is hitting anything overlapping for example uh, then it should uh, generate an overlap event or something like that so i click for i make a fast demonstration uh, i click on it we jump to the coding section don't be irritated this coding what you see here in the character is just more here all things what you can see is almost just keyboard mouse and game put input more or not it's just input settings what you have here most time that's why we ignore that right now we go here this one i showed you already i think then we find first um uh, the overlap actor which means uh okay with what we are going to overlap we want not overlap with all probably with one thing and then uh for example let's see what we have let me give me one second let's say instead of this uh, let's save this here fast save all instead of this stone i ah our door you perhaps you remember this it's a perfect thing we have created our blueprint door this was one of my late uh my former videos and <clears throat> and here you can also see the collision box but this is another way and i want when my character overlaps now not with this collision box now i say with this door itself that this door is disappearing in my last video in my former video i made it other way around this was more the programming approach when my character enters this collision box this door disappears now we make it with a collide let's do this okay the way i'm doing this i need the other actor and the other actor is this time this door so and this door name i can see here on the right side it is called bp door so i go back to my coding section i say who is the other actor who are you going to collide with and then i search bp if it's work i don't know bp door but important this is a cast it is called cast to bp this is a programming thing which means mm, i am connecting this with this bp door because i have to get this um, this is okay this is later in programming you learn this what this means right now not important it is just saying i collide now with this door and what should happen next and i made there a very simple example and i do the same here i want that this door disappear and console comment was this console comment no it was even easier i want that this door disappear in her uh, and the way i did was it i think destroy actor destroy actor this is also a very important note this destroy actor destroy actor means just um just get rid of the uh placed asset here and it will be deleted here and it will be deleted here this is this is the meaning of this destroy actor and the way we did it uh, here we have cast it to our door and here we say destroy let me go fast through again here's our collision overlap which you saw here in our capsule component here is the capsule here is the on component overlap which i have set here then i have here the other colliding actor and this time it's the stone and when i collide with it i want that this door disappears now i go on top compile save and save all here because we see here again the star and you can save all here we can make here save all again save all okay and now <clears throat> and when i press play perhaps it works perhaps not because i have not set the preset right i said it is very important also to set the preset let's see if i set this so i work i walk and it disappears but let me check 
because, uh, because there are two problems here. <laughs> I also programmed that when my character works in this one, it will disappear. Let's change this fast. Give me, give me a second. Uh, this rock we don't need actually anymore. Uh, we go to this asset. We click on this asset. We go to the viewport and let's move this one a little bit in front and let's go to the details panel. Let's type hidden. I showed you that too. If you uncheck this hidden in game, makes it visible for development purposes very important then that's it we go to compile we go to save we go back and now when i press play i can see the other collision box that i want not used right now and now i test it i collide and nothing happens so there we have a problem so the preset is not right so how we check this uh, we go back to our door we get rid of this one. We click our mesh. We now the SM door. I go to collision. And if you don't find it here, write it here. Call. And it jumps to the collision. And here generate overlap element and block all dynamics. Uh, and uh, I will, oops, wrong. Well, again, I will change this to overlap only pawn. And that is, that's exactly only my character. I show you this again. Here, the third person character, the capsule component is set. Collision preset pawn, right? So let's compile, save this and save all again and just start it. And let's see what happens now. Still not working, it's all up, but not <laughs> just trying. Oh my god. Okay, what I messed up again. Uh let me see this fast. Okay, the problem is this one has no collision. This one has collision, but the preset of this one is set pawn on component begin overlap. The problem is ah yes. I think the problem is uh, we delayed this one and not yes and make it on BP door. Perhaps there is another way, but this one is the faster solution. I could make it here too anyhow, but I don't want to think now much because I don't want to <laughs> waste too much time. So let's go here. Let's generate this overlap event here on component begin overlap. And here I have it. You see, here's the other one. And here, other actor cast to third person character. In this time, this is the same thing what I did in the, in the former video. And then destroy actor. In this time, we have get this actor down. I selected from the components because this SM door is now here. I get it down like here and from here I click destroy actor uh, destroy component here in this case because this time it's a component I connect this I compile I save I go back again save all <laughs> and then I press play and if this one is not working it's still not working why you make this all time when I record? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see why it's not working. We have the door. If this is not working now, it would uh, waste all up and pawn, yes. And on this one, as the third person character, destroy components. So why it's not destroying? Here are debug tests. <laughs> yeah, I show you something for debug tests. You can make print a string just to check if this one is doing something. Compile, save, and then here. Let's go here. Let me see if this is working. Uh, probably the failed casting. Ah, why are you doing this, my friend? The preset. Normally it would work here. This one works, but this one is not working why okay i messed anything here really up i 
I really don't know what uh other act uh, because of uh, let me see this one give me a one second here print string this print string what you see here is a debug technique debug technique means analyze technique if this fails then this string will uh, print here and yeah this is uh, it's a very interesting thing which we have to talk also analyzing code debug code and so on but in this more in programming sections not here this is a, only a fast solution let me see here i can't see that which means that eh, this can't be now i'm very irritated because normally if it fails it should print hello and if it's not irritated uh, uh, i mean if it's not failed it should print here hello but all time same door cast of a person character yes the other actor and what's happening here not sure i messed this up probably I have messed this up anyhow. Oh, oh my god, please not. Now I know it, perhaps, I'm not sure. Guys, the problem here could be, I'm not sure. This is also a very interesting thing. Uh, for programming section, you can, yeah, you have witness now problems which can occur. For example, I said, I have here a collision box, but do I have here a collision box? So we go here to this one, SM door. Actually, I have here a collision box, right? Normally, yes. This door has a collision box. Because I thought perhaps this one has no collision box. This could be one reason. And we check now the collision box of this uh, door. And here I don't see any collision actually set. That's the problem. So it has no collision box. I go, I showed you that at the start of the video where we talked about collision. This static mesh has no collision box. And now let's create a collision box. I create this auto convex collision. I apply this one. Yes, I hope it's applied. We can see it now, this green thing. Save. And we can rid get rid of this one. And now I'm very 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 interesting and now it's gone oh my god okay what you witnessed right now was this door was only visual represented without a collision box with other words it reacted to nothing because at the start i said all objects what you can see here around need a collision box for example even this map here on the ground uh, this uh, <laughs> landscape has a collision box if and yeah most things or almost all things what you see on assets will have a collision box and now it works and the other way around would work too i showed you here with the character i deleted this here but normally it work it would work here too now and uh, the reason was just it has no collision box Ah, interesting. So that was also a little demonstration of uh, programming and uh, what problems you face in programming later. But don't worry if you understand nothing because that was not part of this overview. You just saw a little bit overview of crap programming like me. <laughs> anyway, that's that's okay. So we have discussed a little bit the uh, collision and important thing the last thing what i say the static meshes which with what you have here when you use it don't make the mistake which i made and wasted a lot of time check if they have collisions and then set them properly and that's it okay i think i stopped now <laughs> because now it was really long and see you in the next video bye um, yes.